We're really excited to be able to explore and, and study submarine volcanoes more using uh, satellite imagery. Satellites, I mean, are a great resource and, and haven't been applied uh, nearly to the extent they can to submarine uh, volcanism. The oceans are fairly unmonitored, and so satellites provide a really great tool to, to see areas that we don't have sort of visual eyes or other instruments monitoring. So with this project, we, we hope to build a better record of, of submarine volcanism and, and potentially identify eruptions that haven't ever been seen before, and then learn more about the processes of eruptions by improving the catalog and then making new observations. But we don't fully understand what the differences are between submarine and subaerial volcanism, I'd say, in part because we haven't really observed nearly enough submarine volcanoes to, to fully understand if there's something fundamentally different about volcanism underwater versus volcanism on land. We hypothesize and expect that we're going to find more eruptions than have been previously witnessed. So one aspect that I really love about this project is the number of people involved and the fact that myself as a volcano scientist gets to work with the atmospheric scientists and postdocs and graduate students and we all contribute something different. Some rain volcanoes are really exciting to study because most volcanism on Earth happens in the oceans and uh, actually, most of Earth's crust is created through submarine volcanoes along mid-ocean ridges. There's a lot to learn. Each new observation can be really novel and add uh, fundamental uh, new information to our understanding about how our planet works.